Welcome to YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see how to alter store procedure in SQL Server. So once you create a store procedure, so if you want to alter the query, then you can use the alter statement in this store procedure. So let's get started how it works. So this is the syntax for the alter store procedure in SQL Server. So you have to use the alter keyword and pro proc or procedure, whatever you want to give, you can give and the schema name, your database schema name and your procedure name and parameter if you want to give and that you can decline the, define the parameter and schema name and the data type. So procedure option and uh, as begin and end. So here parameter can be input or output. Uh, here this for stored procedure we can use the 2100 parameters and in between begin and end we can it is a body of the stored procedure. So in between these, uh, we can define the block of the SQL statement. So let's get started by using the query. So first I have to take the procedure. I'm creating the procedure with my procedure name one and I'm declaring the first name and last name as go. So begin in between begin and end. I am declaring no count on. No count on you can keep. Uh, it is your option. Uh, if no count on is nothing but doing enhance the SQL performance and uh, you know, improve the performance of the SQL you can say so say first name and the last name so once I create it it is so it is created now just now I have created and now I'm executing this so here Jessica and Julie are the first name and last name I am giving in the micro secret procedure so if I want to alter procedures this for example, Jessica and Julie should be come in the one column. Let's see. So here I'm using the alter procedure, my procedure name again, declaring the first name and last name, and as and uh, begin and end in between. I'm first name plus comma plus last name. So if I declare like this, see the output how it comes. Now I'm altering the scale statements and I'm executing this. So Jessica and Julie, it is coming in the same column. So this is the what declaration for this um, plus and uh, apostrophe in this comma. So by declaring this, we can get the output like this. So if I want to see the count of the particular uh, table, for example. So now I have created the procedure for the purchase order. Uh, this is my procedure name, PO1 I have kept. So if I select purchase order table, these are the details I have. Now I want to alter this. I want to see the count. Let's see how it works. So here I have the columns like purchase order ID, order date, supplier ID and total amount and status. So now I'm altering the procedure. So, uh, again, select start from my table and select count as total count from my table. So total number of count, whatever may be the uh, decodes I have the total count it will produce. So once I created this alter, and now I have to execute. So execute PO1 is my altered procedure name. So if I execute this along with this table details, now you can see the total number of count. The total number of count here is five. So this is how we can see the count in the by using the alter statement in the SQL Server. Next we will see alter stored procedure stored procedure permission in SQL Server. So what are the stored procedure uh, permissions we have to alter? So this is what the query execute at user. This is my schema schema name and uh, select user name as user name and select name and uh, this is what the general syntax we have. And if I execute this now the user name will be the DBO. And these are all the records I have, these are all the name I have, these are the alter permission I have. So these are all the I have created the stored procedure. So alter permission will be one. So if the user have the permission, it will show one. If you the, the user doesn't have the permission, it will represent here as the zero. So now for all this stored procedure, I have the permission as a one. So I can alter. So if you want to alter the permission in the SQL Server Management Studio, 
So go to the store procedure name, any of the name. So right click on here and click on this properties and uh, go to this permissions. Uh, and uh, now you can see I am as DB user, this is my username. And uh, here if you want to alter, here you can, it is showing as a grant or with the, uh, if you don't want to alter, uh, you can keep this DINI. So let me keep it as a grant only and click OK. So if you don't want to keep the permission, just click click on DINI option and click OK here. So by doing this, you can alter the permission in the SQL Server Management Studio. So this is how we have to use the alter statement in the SQL Server in the store procedure concept. So I hope you understood this video. For more video like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to get the notifications. Thank you.